November 13th, Venango Street. Nice town. Ironic. Suspect fled arrest. Informant deceased. Detective Brown's blood drains down the gutter. Scared and confused, I asked myself what could have gone wrong. Audio check. Testing! Testing! <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> it works, doesn't it? <sighs> Where is this guy? You get it when it's safe. If the information he has is half as good as he says it is, we'll be able to take care of organized crime for good in this city. All right. Be careful. Yes, sir. Nothing else is said. Contact with the informant needed to be quick to minimize risk. The Mafia runs this city and has eyes and ears everywhere. If the informant's intel was true, our investigation would be the stone that struck the head of this Goliath. Lovely weather we're having. Yes, very lovely. Say, do you know where an old man like me could go to get out of this rain? I'd suggest one of the local restaurants. But there's so many. Do you have any recommendations? One in particular, in the south side of Philly. Three figures exit nearby building. One of them is the very man we were investigating, Tony Castellano. Known by his associates as Tony Two Fingers. He runs this city. We did not expect him to be there on that night. Shots fired! Shots fired! We need backup and an ambulance! This one's mine. Tony leveled his gun at Detective Brown, waiting for a moment, giving him hope that he might have a chance at escape. Toying with him, he only needed one shot. The bullet struck Detective Brown in his spinal column. The resulting shrapnel pierced his right lung. He crumpled to the concrete. Gordon! Oh, Gordon! Gordon, don't worry. Help us on the way. You're gonna be okay. I, I don't feel anything. What's happening? We're gonna get you out of here. <coughs> I almost wish I had known it was too late. I allowed myself hope. A rookie's mistake. As I told him everything would be okay, his lungs were filling with blood. In the end, it was the blood loss and suffocation. Detective Gordon Brown, 63, deceased. Detective Marlowe, how's the report coming? I'm working on it. How are you doing? Fine. Just tired. I know it's hard. It doesn't get easier. It does help to talk about it. Respectfully, Captain, I'd rather be spending my time trying to catch Tony. I know, but you're too invested in the situation. We have our best men working around the clock on this. If you want to help, prepare a witness statement. If we can get court approval, we can bug Tony's house and get him that way. Yes, Captain. Good. Now go get some sleep. The night shift can be rough. Frustrated, I began reading the statement taken from the informant's family. He had a wife and two kids. I could not imagine the feelings she had telling her children that they were fatherless. 
Then I reflected on that sentiment. Was I so different from those children who lost their father? One particular line caught my eye. Turns out he spent a lot of his time at a restaurant on the south side of Philly. A steakhouse called Gino's on 9th Street. He had mentioned to Gordon that Tony's operation ran out of a restaurant. Maybe this was my ticket. I could have told the captain then and there. Maybe I could have lightened my conscience just a bit. But grief has a way of making it your responsibility to bear that burden. The place was run by a fellow named Frank. Must have been a front. No paper trail leading back to Tony Two Fingers, but his stench was all over the joint. Hello, sir. I'm in your party. Just me. PPD. I'd like to speak to your manager. Um, right, right this way, sir. You Frank? Yeah, who's asking? Detective Johnny Marlow, DPD. Your boss killed an associate of mine. I'd like to have a word with him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the boss here. Tony Two Fingers? Word on the street is this place is a front for his operation. When's the last time your boss visited? <laughs> Alright, that's better. Be crazy! Maybe. Now. Where's Tony? Good luck getting me and Ramo, you son of a bitch! You're gonna tell me sooner or later, and if it's later, I won't mind. You're a psycho! A psycho with nothing to lose. All right. Tony will be here. Later tonight, have dinner with his wife. He'll be looking at his latest shipment to blow then. Where are the drugs? In the basement. Show me. All right. All right. Sergeant Myers, I. Captain Ginaldi of the 39th. Sergeant Myers? Yes, Captain? Assemble the squad. Detective Marlowe never went to that appointment. There's your damn drugs. Can you let me go now? Sit your ass down. What's your plan here? You gonna kill me? Kill Tony? PPD doesn't take kindly to employing murderers. I could hear my heartbeat in my ears. My hands were trembling. I thought by taking out my rage it would be released. But anger is one hell of a drug. It only deepened my desire for revenge. I would wait for him right here. When he came to the restaurant to inspect the drugs, I would kill Tony Two Fingers. As I sat in that basement, I became restless with anticipation. The sound of Tony's gun still rung in my ears. Every time I closed my eyes, I saw Gordon's dim eyes, his blood pooling around my knees. My resolve deepened. There would be no courts, no jurors, no mercy. Tony's blood would repay the waste of Gordon's blood. The cold steel beast in my hand was howling like a wolf watching its prey limp closer. Closer and closer, the wolf crouches under the grass line. Three bucks and a doe enter the field. The usual. Congrats. Right this way, sir.
All of the Milano. Medium rare for me, please. Right away. I'm gonna go talk to the chef, honey. I'll be right back. The doe continues grazing. The bucks stand and approach the wolf. The wolf lays flat, avoiding detection. Frankie, that was my favorite. Don Castellano. Tony Two Fingers. And who are you, kid? Johnny Marlowe, PPD. A cop, huh? I don't see a warrant. I don't have a warrant. You're on business. If you wanted a job, you shouldn't have attacked Frankie. Not a job. Vendetta. You killed my partner. The traitor? Oh, the old man. I like it when they run. He was 63, you sack of shit. He didn't have a chance. Then he shouldn't have been sticking his nose in my business. I killed him without remorse, just like you're here to kill me. Looks like you and I aren't so different. Done. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. What's your name? Lenny. You're gonna be just fine, Lenny. We're gonna get you out of here. PPD! Down here! Call an ambulance! Dispatch! Ambulance required at Gino's Stakes on 9th. You're gonna be just fine, Lenny. Stay with me. I failed Gordon twice. Once when he died in my arms, then when I let my grief lead me here and only spread that pain. I refused to fail him a third time. This man would live. What were you hoping to accomplish, Detective? You were right. Got too involved. I nearly killed him. What stopped you? If I did it, I'd be no different than him. I had him at my mercy, then I remember how Gordon died. I know it's not easy. I've lost more people protecting this city than I can count. I still see them when I close my eyes. How do you live with it? By coming in every day and being the best damn cop I can be. If you want to honor Gordon and his memory, then you got to honor the badge. I know it can be hard, but you're not in this alone. The guard you shot survived. He's grateful you saved him. He said he'd be willing to testify against Tony in court. That combined with your account should be enough to get court approval to bug Tony's house. Yes, Captain. November 14th. Final report. Detective Gordon. KIA. Tony fled the scene. Suspect 1, KIA. Suspect 2 is in custody, prepared to turn state's witness. And you're confident it was Tony Castellano who shot Detective Brown? Yes, Your Honor. I watched him flee the scene. 
Well then, with your statement, I'll sign the papers and we can begin the RICO case against him. Lenny and his family will be moved to witness protection. Thank you, Your Honor. Tony Castellano, under the RICO Act, you were found guilty of multiple cases of murder, racketeering, drug trafficking, and bribery of health and safety officials. My verdict is life without chance of for parole. Don't worry. You'll love it where you're going. Looks like we're different after all. Suppose so. You win this round, Johnny. Time to go.